This is October 3rd, 2011. I've been having many prophetic dreams lately. I work around the clock. <laughs> Most of the time it's lots of times. Too many times, my husband says. It's 24, 48 hours before I sleep. So it's rare. It's it's rare that I can remember my dreams and all of a sudden Abba Yahweh has put such an urgency in me to make sure that I'm recording the dreams. I will start out with the one today and then I have to do another one that I did not record yesterday. And these are put into videos for a purpose. And that is because Yahushua said that we have to entertain as well as inform this hardened end time generation. So I will have these made into videos also. I firmly believe, from everything I've heard of people who had to be martyred because they love Yahushua, the one called Jesus Christ, and I believe with all my heart that they don't suffer. From the testimonies that I have heard that the devil will not have the satisfaction, I believe with all my heart, and I want to encourage people, this dream, <laughs> and they were back to back, and, and they were similar. They were similar, and yet you'll hear it was about, it was about martyrdom. It's so close now, people. If you're afraid to stand up now and defend Yahushua and defend holiness and defend others who are preaching holiness, and you're only and you're afraid of just having a bad word spoken about you or on YouTube to have a sub or a friend that you'll never see drop you. What are you going to do? I'm talking about those who are calling themselves born-again Christians. What are you going to do when they're going to come to you, the governments of this world, and they're going to say, this is your new God. I demand, and the law demands, that you worship this new God, this leader of the world. Or we're going to chop your head off, or we're going to chop body parts of you off, or we're going to make you suffer untold agony. You're not going to have any food anymore. You're going to see your family starve, your children starve, if you don't worship the one that we call God and give up the one that you worship, the one you call Yahushua, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You have a new God now. And if you don't accept him, and you don't carry the mark, and if you don't gather together and worship on a mandatory Sunday, this is what's going to happen to you. What are you going to do, people? You're cowards now, okay? And the Bible says in the book of the Revelations, the cowards are not going to go to heaven. You know why? Because they're going to sell Yahushua out. You see, it's not a sin to be afraid. I've breathed fear like oxygen since I was born. And I know what the word says. For God did not give us the spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. And when I say that I've breathed fear like oxygen, I mean that's a, that's a, a spirit that torments me continually. But you know what the sin is? The sin isn't being afraid. The sin is letting that fear stop you from obeying Abba Yahweh Yahushua and the precious Real Kakodesh. In other words, obeying God. That's the sin. Yahushua, he said, if it all be possible, take this cup from me. And he wept tears of blood, of anguish. He knew what he was going to face. For he was in a, a body of flesh, although he was God in the flesh. And he is God. So I have to start this with this telling you. It's going to come. It's, ha it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen very quickly. And this ministry of a mighty wind ministry has been so brutalized. Because you see, this ministry isn't for everyone. Just like, like Elijah of old wasn't sent to every widow was there up at. So too I, the pastor, apostle, prophet, whatever. The one that Yahushua used. And Abba Yahweh used to put on this internet. Nearly 17 years ago. But it's, it's hard for me to count years. <laughs> For me to keep counting years means I have to get older. But the ministry is over 25 years old, okay? Hard to believe, I know. I don't want to say what this dream was, but I'm telling you, it's going to happen. And I have to record it. God warns to his prophet. He shares secret to his true prophet. And I pay a big price to be able to warn you. But I have Ezekiel 3, 17 to 21 that tells me I must warn you. I have no choice. You see, I fear offending the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob more than I fear people. In my dream, I just want to say when I woke up, I felt, and, I, and I'm waking up now, after going 24 hours without sleep, ministering, <laughs> oh, battling lies. Oh, man. It just gets more ridiculous every day. And I feel like I've been traveling. I feel like I, I don't know what we do when we dream. 
but I felt like I really was in another place. It appeared, and I believe it was in a Muslim country, and there was four people on the on the outside, and they were being guarded, and there was a fire in the middle, and it was at night. I'm not sure if it was at night. It, it wasn't. It wasn't like it was pitch black at night. I'm just gonna say there was a fire in the middle. Maybe it was even just to keep warm because I could see everybody so clearly. I don't know what time it was. It was before all the way pitch dark, and there was a woman that was very, very pregnant, and she was dressed in black, and they she had a long Muslim scarf on, you know, and there was a man, and I believe there was two more women, if I remember right, and they were going to be executed. They were going to have their heads cut off because they are Christian followers of Yeshua, Jesus Christ. I say Jesus Christ for those that don't know the name of Yeshua, but after this, I only want to say Yeshua because it means Yah saves. And this is the name the devil hates. This is a true Hebrew name. In the King James Version Bible, they gave our beloved Messiah a Greek name, J-E-S-U-S. But in reality, Miriam Mary, a Hebrew woman, would not have given her baby a Greek name. But out of the mercy of Abba Yahweh, he allows that name because they're still. And that's the name we all learned. And they're saving, forgiving, healing, delivering, resurrection power, miracles in that name. And I'm so grateful. Otherwise, I wouldn't be saved. <laughs> but you see, now you're being warned that when the Antichrist comes, he's going to come defiling that name. So I want to get back to this. I saw this woman and she was all dressed in black and she had the heavy black scarves on and oh, she was ready to give birth any moment. She was like nine months pregnant and then there was the two women and there was a man and I was... I was reassuring them. I was speaking to them. And I was praying for them. As they knew they were about ready to be executed and waiting for their name to be called. And I said to them, I believe in faith. And I just know this. Please don't be afraid. Don't give them the... Don't give your executioners the joy of seeing fear on your face. Instead, you praise Yoshua. Instead, you realize that you're going to go home before I do. With your last breath. Just say, Yoshua, save me. And before that guillotine blade hits your neck or sword, I don't know what they would use because thank God I didn't see it. I said, I believe with all my heart and soul as every martyr is killed, that their spirit is taken from their body before death can even be pronounced. I believe it. You see, our God is merciful. And I said, I'll see you in heaven. And you're getting there before I do because your job's done. And then the guards came. And they uh, took the three away. And then I saw this precious pregnant woman. And I said, they won't kill you too, will they? I mean, you're ready to have a baby. That's, that's like killing two at one time. And she said, oh, yes, they will. And I felt helpless. I couldn't do anything. But watch and pray. We're not praying for these people who are being martyred. I'm guilty of it too. They're giving their life right now for Yahushua. And just because it didn't come to America yet, it will. It'll come all over the world. How many are you praying for them? Then the gene goes into another. Oh, I just want to add, it was like all of a sudden, as I felt so helpless, <laughs> all of a sudden I, I felt peace as I sat there. And I told the woman, I said, they're home. They're in heaven right now. And they're not grieving. They're rejoicing. Because, oh, death, where is your sting? Where is your victory? Hallelujah. They believe in, even if we have to be martyred, even if you have to be martyred, just remember, the end result is if you do not allow fear to stop you from worshiping Yahushua and letting the devil know you'll not serve him, the end result is heaven. <laughs> There's no greater reward for all eternity to be happy, to know joy, nothing but holiness around you, to behold the face of your Creator and your Messiah, <laughs> to have holy angels surrounding you, to be with each other. Don't let Satan take your soul because of fear. This is a training ground right now. This is what we're on this earth for right now. <laughs> if you can't stand up and if you're afraid of being insulted with words, you're in trouble. You're in real big trouble. Most likely, I can pretty much guarantee it, you'll sell Yeshua out. You'll betray him like you betray the holy ministries, like a mighty wind, like me. And you sit there and you watch and you're quiet. You won't have, an, you won't have a chance. You won't have a choice. You will have to choose. 
on that day which God you will serve. And you're choosing right now whether you know it or not. You're practicing right now for your decision, just like I am. You see, I thought I gave God everything I had to give. I've been serving Him and ministering for so many years. Started out at, I, I didn't even, <laughs> I started out young, okay, really young. And um, the moment I got saved, I was prophesizing and evangelizing. And of course, that's more than 25 years. And never once have I backslid. Never once did I go back in this sin. There's no excuse for you for backsliding, okay? Once you really know the love of Yahushua in your heart, once you really have the Holy Spirit, if you don't have the head knowledge, okay, and it's got a really strong relationship where you know that God watches everything you do, that everything your eye sees, everything, every action you do, you're forcing the Holy Spirit within you to take part in it because the Holy Spirit's inside your body. I never could understand backsliders. They all use the excuse of the prodigal son. But you know what? The prodigal son didn't deny the father. These people who deny, who taste the goodness of Yahushua HaMashiach and, and who get saved and born again and filled with the Holy Spirit and then say, well, I've decided this is too hard. I don't want to believe my friends in hell. Yeah, I've been going to an apostolic church and yeah, I claim I have the, the gift of tongues, but this is, this is too hard, surely. I don't want to worship a God that would send people to hell. I'd rather go to hell myself. And you know what? You will. Because Hebrews 10 does not lie. And Hebrews 6, I'm sorry, Hebrews 6, 4 through 8, does not lie. It is impossible. Do you hear me? All of you out there who think you're playing games, you deny Yahushua HaMashiach and you think you can go into all Buddha and, uh, and turn to Muslim and whatever, and you think you can come back anytime you want. You could go into witchcraft, you could go into Satanism, you could become an atheist, but oh, anytime I want, when it's convenient, I know the door is a revolving door and I could come back again. No, you can't. You're a liar. You've been lied to. Now, either you knowingly know you're lying or Satan has got you deceived. To think with your last breath, you'll just come back. I don't care even about these who say, oh, but I have such a testimony and I learned my lesson and I come back. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> it don't work that way. It really don't work that way. I believe the word of God and it says it's impossible for now you have openly mocked Yahushua Hamashek, the one who shed his blood at Calvary, who covered your sins, who you accepted as Lord, God, and Savior, and had a Holy Spirit, but because sin was more important to you, because living holy was too hard, you went to go find another religion, another belief, or no belief, and then you tried to say, oh, but I'm back again, I decided, I, I, I've come back again, I, I know the truth now is in the Bible, and I know the Bible better than you do, Elizabeth, oh yeah, sure you do, Inventor Gorilla, sure you do, I got news for anybody who plays this game, like this man and others. It's not a revolving door. Before these people die, they will once again deny the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. It's guaranteed. You know why I know? Hebrews 6, 4 through 8. It's impossible to return. Once the Holy Spirit leaves, it's all over with. Second part of my dream. This was very sad. There was a pregnant animal. And again, I'm sitting right outside. I'm, I'm the same. It's the same scenario. Only I don't see the pregnant woman anymore. I just know that she's, she's been taken. She's been executed and she's in heaven. But there's this pregnant animal and this animal is a little, a, a, it, a, is a, a very pregnant sheep. And it's running and running around and around all around me and like in circles and, and, um, there's a big bear, appears to be like a grizzly bear, big brown bear, huge, and is sh chasing this little sheep that's ready to give birth any moment. And I'm helpless to watch. And all I can do is I'm helpless and I'm watching. And I don't know what to do because I know that that pregnant sheep is going to is going to collapse at any moment. She's ready to give birth. And this bear has no mercy. It just wants to eat that little sheep. And so what happens is the, the sheep finally collapses, like right where I'm sitting on the ground. And I don't know what to do but hurry and scoop it up and put it in my arms. Thinking, I'll protect this sheep. That bear ain't going to touch this sheep. And in my horror, the bear stops at me and eats 
the sheep's head while it's in my arms. I couldn't protect the sheep. I tried, and I failed. There's people who come to this ministry who think I'm able to protect them. Please don't look at me to protect you. There's only one good shepherd. I'm just the pastor. I'm just a woman saved by the same blood of you as everyone else who accepts it, who lives holy. I can't protect you. When it comes time, and if you've been chosen before the foundation of this world to be a martyr for Yahushua, I can't protect you. I can only encourage you. That's two back-to-back dreams. People, it's coming. I don't care where you live in this world. It's coming. Are you ready? Are you ready? I don't know what's going to take, what I have to go through before I'm out of this world. I do know this. <laughs> By being uh, suffering the persecution that I've been suffering by these enemies and everybody who is associated with the Mighty Wind Ministries or any other ministry. So these are my two dreams and they're martyrdom back to back. And I leave them with you now to think about what I've said. You better practice being brave now because that's what you've been put on YouTube for. That's what you've been put on the Internet for. That's what you've been put in this world for to stand up and defend there's another brave one, Iron Cross 66106, Ron. Ron was told, and Ron was threatened, that he had, and, and he's intimidated, and they make videos about him. And when I say they, I mean there's a Nehemiah Center cult with Pastor George C., who, <laughs> who claims to be a Messianic Jew, but he has a church on Sunday. Oh, he's a real enemy, all right. He said he stoned me to death if he could. In his first video, the man don't even know me. Over two years, he's really done all he can do to try to destroy me. And, you know, he, he, these enemies, they, they got, they're like a small army. They get together and they get re- recruits. And um, they recruit people. They threaten people. They intimidate them. I'm going to write all your subs and your friends, and they'll drop you. If you have anything to do with that ministry called the Mighty Wind, if you don't make this video again, Stern, if you don't make those comments, we'll make you regret it. How stupid. How stupid. How many of you people have fell for it? You don't even bother to go to the website to see that this is a holy ministry. You don't even bother to read the prophecies for yourself. The newest lie is that I am Sherry Schreiner, who is a mortal enemy of mine who God has put in prophecies 91, 92, and 93 and ripped her apart and exposed her for a high-bred demon which is commonly called an alien in this world? I'm sorry, people. I have no respect for you. I have no pity for you. Because you just repeat the lies that are told about me. And you don't even bother to see who I really am and what a mighty wind ministry and the youth ministers really stand for, which is holiness, righteousness, the righteousness of Yahushua HaMashiach. In 25 languages, we teach it, we preach it, and that includes Hebrew now. I shake my head in amazement for what I have seen on the Internet. Just remember, the right of Yahushua HaMashiach when the rapture happens, just remember, they're few. They're a remnant. But they're like unto a Joel 2 army, and we're not going to be stopped. And we're not going to back down. And we run towards the Goliath. We don't run away from him. And no matter what the price we have to pay, we will not betray our Yahushua HaMashiach, and we are proving it. I know it's easier to stone me than to defend me. I mean, you've got the, the occults joining together. You've got the New World Order Church. You've got the Satanists. You've got the atheists. You've got the fake Christians. Hey, they outnumber the holy in this world and on the, on the Internet. Not to mention just pure heathen, reprobates. And then you've got just the lukewarm who just barely have any faith at all who don't know right from wrong. And these enemies, they go after these. Or the brand new baby converts who just started to saying, I found the truth. I know that a mighty wind ministry is preaching the truth about holiness and i got to get right with God. And, and then they come in there and like a vulture, they scoop them up. And they'll say, no, you don't have to worry about sinning. That's too hard. Like this MOA 373 satanic rec- recruiter. That's a, so they got a youth too. That's him. 
going after and trying to take away our beloved Chastia 777 and say, don't worry about living holy. Get away from that false prophet, your pastor, Elizabeth Elijah. She tells you you got to live holy. Well, nobody can live holy. Just do the best you can. So what if you sin? It's no big deal. God understands. He doesn't expect us not to sin. Liars. We had that excuse before. We had the Holy Spirit. We don't have that excuse anymore. So I leave you with these two dreams that tell you martyrdom is coming. If you're a coward now, I can't even face up to a few insults or your friends or your family forsaking you. Good luck. And I don't really mean luck because I don't believe in luck. Oh, how you're going to suffer. The worst suffering of all is if you don't get refined in the Great Tribulation and if you don't, you have all eternity in hell in the lake of fire. See, for me, I know when my job is done, I know the God that I serve, and I know how much he loves me. I have beheld him face to face. I have seen and I have looked. It will be 24 years ago on December 24th. I have beheld the face of Yeshua Hamashiach, who at that time I called Jesus Christ. He sat on the edge of my bed. And just to date myself a little, it was a big water bed, okay? And it was a, a cushiony uh, leather rail. But he, but he woke me up. I wanted to know who was looking at me with such love in his eyes. Well, I knew it couldn't be the abusive husband that I was married to at that time. And I was clear on my other side of the bed, close to the rails you can get. <laughs> And I opened my eyes, and I saw this bright, bright light with such love. It was staring at me. And it was the one I called Jesus Christ that I now know by the Hebrew name Yahushua. And the love, people. Oh, if you just get a sample of that love, if you just can, I pray you do. You'll never be the same. You'll never betray him. You'll be willing to go to have your head cut off or be martyred however you have to be martyred for his namesake. And I pray everyone who is destined to be a martyr, I pray right now, Abba Yahweh, in the name of Yeshua, that you show them that love that I saw coming out of your eyes. It's like a giant Tusami wave, and it whooshes over your mind, body, spirit, and soul. And he has beautiful, bright blue eyes. They're not brown. They were blue. And he looked at me and he said, I'm so sorry you have suffered like this. Well, I had a sickness that could have led to death, and the doctors wanted to do some painful tests, and I said, no, either Jesus heals me, or I just go home to heaven, and I had just given birth to a child. I get stubborn, but he said, I'm so sorry you suffered like this, as I was mocked. I said, oh, well, then you'll die, and I didn't even know at that time. That very well could have been Hanukkah time. I didn't even know what Hanukkah was, because it was December 24th, the day before Christmas. And I told him that I knew that if people stood back to back around this world and said that Jesus Christ did not love me, I would know that they are a liar. And I believe he did that. Not only healed me, of course, I wouldn't be here, but he did that for the time that I'm going through right now, where I have people saying the most hateful things that don't even know me and... and. They are used by Satan to try to destroy a mighty wind ministry and my reputation that I truly have kept holy because I love my Yeshua and I want to be an example to others. And I pray with all my heart that those of you who are destined to be martyred, those of you who have to, will have your, your friends and your family forsake you because you refuse to, to give up the truth that you have learned about our beloved Yahushua. I pray with all my heart that you feel the love that I saw in his eyes. And as they take you away, and I'm, of course, there's the bride of Yahushua, and I'm not speaking to you right now. I'm speaking to the guests at the marriage supper of the Lamb who will be martyred. Not all of them, but many of them. That's my prayer for you, that the love that I saw in Yahushua's eyes, not in a vision, but face to face, you will see also. And he'll be right there with you. And your spirit will leave your body before even the blade can touch your neck. Forgive me that I have not been saying that prayer for those are. There's so many. There's so many being martyred right now. There's so many being tortured and imprisoned and killed. Forgive me, Yoshua. I have not prayed for them. I pray that this video will stand as a testimony when people hear it. And they will remember to pray for these people. Especially knowing 
this could be you. And if it is you, what will you do? I suggest you start practicing right now. <laughs> I suggest it very highly because that's what God is doing. He is saying, choose ye this day which God you will serve. And he uses me as his Elijah of new, not because I'm the reincarnation of Elijah of old. Oh, please don't believe these lies. I'm a woman. A W-O-M-A-N, like Helen Reddy's song says. I'm a woman, okay? That's one big difference. I don't have a long white beard, and I'm definitely not in heaven. But I will be one day. And Elijah of old was a prophet, and I'm a prophet of Yahweh. Not anything special I did. Believe me, I told him I didn't want to be called a prophet. And he said, I don't care what you want to be called. I call you a prophet. There it is. And the other thing Elijah of old and I have in common is he was chased by Jezebel, okay? Everybody out after him, literally chasing him. Well, I got enemies that chased me with the spirit of Jezebel. And they got a small army just trying very hard to find me because they would kill me if they could. They got videos out there saying, where is this woman? If you know anything about her, putting personal information on a registered website. When it first was on the air, that of course that none of this information applies right now. I'm not stupid anymore. I have my information in, in private registration. I didn't know better then. Oh, man. So they put it in a video. Phone number, address. Stupid people. Stupid reprobate. The bride of Satan. That's who I'm battling right now. How many of you are going to stand with me? How many will stand for holiness? Anyone hears this? And they believe they are the bride of Yahushua HaMashiach and they have identified with what I've said. Contact me. My YouTube username is Yah's Lady in Red. Because I belong to Yah. And the red is for the blood of Yahushua that saves me, delivers me, anoints me. So those are my dreams. I love all those more than words can say who have encouraged me. There are so many prophecies that have been held up, maybe as many as 20. I need your prayers for them to be released. It's brutal on the front lines. We tried going through the legal route to stop the defamation of character. And the names and the lists are so long. Google was served with a subpoena. I mean, people, they're not just saying they don't like the prophecies, okay? That's their their freedom to do that. I don't care. They got all of YouTube. But when they're falsely accusing me of crimes, where does it stop? You see, it's not even just about me. It's about the sheep and the lambs being chased away. I care so much when I see a little sheep just starting to walk and I'm over there petting it and the next thing I know it's in a wolf's mouth being carried away to hell. I care. I grieve. And that's what Satan's done. And only those truly with the Holy Spirit are going to be able to have discernment to know who is evil and who is good. Because they copy and paste scripture pretty good. And they share their little Christian songs. Huh. They're as evil as evil can be. I'd rather battle an open Satanist or an open atheist than have these as Satanists and atheists disguise and come as fake Christians. Beware, people. YouTube is a sewer, and you have to know where to step. It's got good in it. The real, genuine, born-again, Holy Spirit-filled followers of Yeshua who really do strive to obey and preach holiness, they, I call my brothers and sisters, but the majority are cowards and fakes. They're the ones that are going to say, hide us from the face of the Lamb, and he who sits on a throne. They would rather have a mountain cave in on them to hide them from the face of Yahushua. Just wait. The wrath of the Lamb, he is not that... Sacrificial, slain, tortured, humiliated, mocked God that hung on that cross. He is so much more. He's not only that. That was for one time he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Now they know what they do. And there is no excuse. And he's coming back with fire in his eyes and a sword in his mouth and an army behind him. And we, the bride of Yahushua, will be on those horses behind him when it happens, when he returns for the second time. And he will slay these enemies. That's all I have to say. I offend most, but I praise Yahushua. There is a remnant that still consider me a blessing. So for those that have considered me a blessing this day, I love you. 
And I thank you for everything you're doing for the kingdom of heaven. And whatever we have to do, we're going to do to finish the work that God has given us to do. You know who it is that hinders from the Antichrist being revealed right now? That which hinders is we, the bride of Yeshua. We are the standard that God uses against these evil ones. We are the voice crying out in the wilderness. Choose ye this day which God you will serve. Live holy. Given the message of a John the Baptist. Repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. And when the bride of Yeshua HaMashiach is taken, all hell will break loose on this earth in a way that people will want mountains to fall on them to hide them from the wrath of the Lamb and he who sits on the throne. So don't say I didn't warn you. In the meantime, remember to pray for those who are being martyred. Thank you. In Yeshua's name.